If you have OSHA compliance questions or concerns, Pike Group's got you covered. Hey, thanks for coming to a very special episode of Head First Fishing. This evening, we're doing something I've never done before. We're linking up with Twisted Limbs Bow Fishing right here in Tampa Bay. We're at the Cockroach Bay Boat Ramp. We got Captain Travis here and Captain Shannon, and they're gonna take us out, and we're gonna sling some arrows at some fish. This is really exciting for me. I've never done anything like this, so I'm, I'm super pumped. I can barely contain myself. So, uh, Captain Travis, please introduce yourself again for us. Tell us. Uh, Travis tell Lamper, i um, been doing the boat fishing charters here out of Cockroach for about five years now. Um, we're going to go sling some arrows at some sheephead and some black drum and hopefully see a flounder in this one. We'll try it. The sheep slayer is here. <laughs> Captain Shannon, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Shannon, I uh, run another boat for Twisted Limbs. Been chartering about a year now. We've been boat fishing about 11 years now. Um, ready to have some fun. Let's All go right. stick some fish. This is this is really awesome. I'm excited. Well, we're about to kick off here. We're going to shove off the shore here and uh, make our way back into the mangroves. I got a feeling we're going to see a lot of fish. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this episode. Typical tough conditions for a head first fishing video, but we're gonna persevere. We're gonna push through and see if we can get a bunch of fish in that box right there. We got a big cooler that needs to get filled. So real quick, Captain Shannon, tell me how long you've been bow fishing. About 11 years now. Okay, yep. that's a lot of bow fishing. It's a lot of bow fishing. It's kind of taken over our lives a little bit, as you can see. I can see, <laughs> especially when you're operating at night a lot, I can, I can yeah. see how that would definitely dominate your days. But when you're doing something you love, it's not work. It's not work. <laughs> I'm familiar with that. That's why you do charter fishing. Yes. That's cool. Well, what is, uh, what's the best part of a bow fishing charter for you? What's the most exciting part? Watching, watching somebody who has no idea or no belief that they're gonna hit a fish all night hit their first fish. Right. I mean, just to see the excitement on people's faces when they see it. And then all the stuff you see out here. I mean, the, this ecosystem out here is, thriving right. it's beautiful i mean we got snook we see hundreds upon hundreds of redfish we see you know crabs manatees everything out here is just thriving in this ecosystem it's beautiful it is a beautiful ecosystem tampa bay is just chock full of life and we're going to see it from a different perspective tonight so let's go ahead and zip on up the bay and see what we can discover all right the sun's gone down a little bit of light left Coming up on our first shoreline here, we got the lights illuminating the water. Travis, tell us how the fish usually react as you approach when you come up on them. You know, do they usually act skittish? You got to shoot them quick, or do they give you just a couple of seconds to shoot them? Sheephead usually will sit there, yeah. and let you roll over top of them. Now you get a full moon or a bright moon, then they kind of act a little skittish then. Mm -hmm. But at, at, in the dark, they usually usually sit there and let you shoot at them. I think. Our record is like we missed the same sheephead 26 times one night, so, <laughs> <laughs> so they'll, they'll usually give you a couple shots to shoot at them, so. Okay. I what? Shot. First shot. <laughs> first shot. This ain't that hard, is it? <laughs> Look at that. Right there. That's a first nice shot. shot. First Joe, shot. Joe, it ain't hard, is it? Bang. <laughs> one shot, one kill, baby. You know who's on the trigger tonight. I've only been doing this for about 15 minutes, but I can tell I'm going to be addicted. There was a whole bunch of them, so it's kind of like flock shooting.
So far, boat fishing is challenging. I'm loving it, but uh, curse of the first shot. Got it. Sheep on. Shannon with another sheep. Look at that. I shot this sheep right in the side. <laughs> Sheep's head slayer. <laughs> We're in a little bit deeper water here, not much. We're talking about a couple of inches, but uh, the shoreline looks good. We're out of the wind more now. Hopefully, we can stay out of the wind. I'm not. I'm not counting on it, but this, this little shoreline here looks pretty good. Add more sheep set to the box. I'm struggling. I'm having a blast. This is awesome. But I have made quite a few shots and I have not connected. But we keep on going here at Head First Fishing. We don't get frustrated. I'm gonna keep on picking good targets and letting the arrows fly. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, Shane. Give me. Nice shot. That is a mullet. I smooth missed that one too. That one's thicker than a snicker. That's a big one. <laughs> nice shot. Got it. Nice shot. Got him. Got him. Nice sheep. Finally. Good one. Yes. In the oyster. Good one. In the oyster. Nice. Boom. Nice work for that one. How about that right there? Sheep's head slayers. Boom. Another one right here. Nice shot. Nice shot. Got him. Got him. Yeah, baby. There you go. Get over there. Fat boy mullet. That's one of them there cannonball mullet. Knock you smooth out. Cruising down the river, he jumps out of the water. Think you're out. That was the best fish of the night right there. That was about a 15, 20 pound drum right there. And unfortunately, the arrow pulled out. It hit all butt back behind the boat and had a bunch of knots in the line and everything like that and it ripped right out. So that's a bummer, but really great shot. That was exciting. Well, talk about an awesome evening. I have never done this again. Tons of shooting, and even for the conditions, like you were saying, this is not the best of conditions. We have a storm coming in. We're gonna have to jet back to the boat ramp and cut it short, but I got to shoot a lot. I saw a lot of fish. I shot that big drum, unfortunately it tore off. Got a couple of sheep's heads, some big mullet, and Captain Chen here is the shooter of the night. He was uh, a dead eye, so uh, yeah. I mean, we got a pretty good, pretty good haul there. Uh, we didn't exactly fill the box up, but with the amount of time and the conditions, really not bad at all. So I think we got another episode of this coming ahead. We're gonna come out in better conditions, put in more hours, and see if you can really get the high score. But uh, thanks a lot yes, for having man. me out. Yes, this evening. I had a great time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank hey, you. if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button to keep up with all our uploads. Check out Twisted Limbs Boat Fishing for your next charter. Great for families. Great for parties, lots of fun. You're gonna see a lot of wildlife. You're gonna shoot a lot of arrows. It's a great time. Many thanks to our sponsors, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, and the Pike Consulting Group, your OSHA safety consultants. I'll see you later.